Hey everyone, I'm Adam Azer with Doug Kroll, the baseball editor for NCAA.com. Doug, 10 of the regionals are over. The other six will be completed tonight. Let's start out by recapping what we learned over the weekend. All of the national seeds are still alive. Five have already advanced to the next round. So which ones impressed you? Well, I think Miami impressed the most. They are the top seed in this tournament, and they proved why. Every time they were, their backs were up against the wall this weekend, they struggled at times against Bethune-Cookman and Missouri, but they were able to come out on top. They are now 50-8 and eight heading into the Super Regionals, the only team in the nation that still has single-digit losses. So very impressive by the Hurricanes and a pretty tough regional down there in Coral Gables. A couple other top seeds that really rolled this weekend, UNC in the Cary Regional. They cruised, but that was expected. Still got the job done. Arizona State, another team that rolled over Oklahoma yesterday to get out of the Tempe Regional. Yeah, and those were some of the national seeds that really impressed you, and they should have because those are three of the best teams in the country. But what about the less heralded teams <laughs> UC Irvine, they're at it again. Yeah, they paved their way all the way to Omaha last year on the road for both the regional and super regional, and they're at it again, like you said, winning at Nebraska, took the Lincoln Regional by beating Nebraska on Sunday, and now they're going to head to LSU, and what the anteaters are all about are pitching, 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 and that's going to come to the forefront against the Tigers team that's only won 23 straight games. So, you know, for the anteaters, it's, it's they really They love nice. it, Doug. Yeah. They love being the underdog. They're going to they're gonna thrive. They certainly, and you know, you look at some other teams across the country, Fresno State, they're the only four seed left. They're going to play San Diego tonight for the right to go to the Super Regionals. And you got to give credit to the Bulldogs because we said coming into this tournament that the Long Beach Regional was probably the most even top to bottom, and they've proven that so far. I was a little surprised what we saw from Florida State on Friday night. This team can really hit, and we knew that, and they'll be playing Tulane in an elimination game tonight. But on Friday, they lost 7 nothing to the fourth seed at home, Bucknell. Yeah, well, Matthew Wilson pitched the game of his life. 153 pitches, complete game, six-hit shutout against perhaps the best hitting team in the country in the Seminoles. So, got to give credit to him. Sometimes great pitching beats great hitting, but then that great hitting did show up for the rest of the weekend. 58 runs in the next three games for the Seminoles. I'd be shocked if they lost to the Green Wave tonight in Tallahassee. Now, there were some very good pitching performances. Last week, we talked about Brian Mattis of San Diego and Aaron Crow of Missouri. If you watched baseball Friday night, you would have thought these are the two best in the country. Yeah, I think they kind of copied each other. I think they called each other before the, uh, before the day and decided that they'd each throw complete game shutouts, three hits, and both struck out ten. So they, they definitely copied each other. That's the only thing. Their lines look exactly the same. But like we said, they're two of the best pitchers coming into, the, coming into this regional in the country. San Diego is still alive. Missouri is not. Um, but if you look at some other performances, Brian Wilson out at Cal State Fullerton, his first start of the season, complete game shutout on Friday against Ryder. Those are the types of performances you need to advance, and the Titans, they're going to be in a dogfight tonight against UCLA. Also some very good hitting performances this weekend. Though. Yeah, you have to look at Buster Posey at FSU. He carried the Seminoles to two wins yesterday to get to today against Tulane. Four home runs, ten runs battered in in those two games yesterday. Then you have to look at Coastal Carolina's David Anderson, their first baseman, had three multi-hit games to lead the Chanticleers to their first ever Super Regional in school history. They're playing very well, and let's take a quick look at tonight's games because there are three one seeds that are already gone from this tournament. There are five who have it on the line tonight in elimination games. Which one should be worried? Well, sudden death Monday is upon us. Georgia faces Georgia Tech tonight. Those two rivals go at each other. The Bulldogs have struggled with the Yellow Jackets this season. Obviously, they won yesterday to get to today, so that's one to look out for. You have Stanford against Pepperdine as well, and then UCLA against Florida, as the two SoCal rivals go at it as well. All right, Doug, thanks a lot. Anytime, Adam. We will know all of the Super Regional matchups tomorrow, and throughout the rest of the week, we're going to be previewing each one, so make sure you check that out on NCAA.com. For Doug Kroll, I'm Adam Azer for CBS College Sports.